tonight on Hot Property. Let's do rock and roll. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it. The most radical auction strategy of them all. Unbelievable. There's no plan B. Failure. I can't hold this position for too long. Well, will be catastrophic. An expensive exercise for uh, myself, my father and all involved. G'day and welcome to a brand new series of Hot Property. I'm Michael Caton. And what a time to be back. With the property market up in some places and down in others. So with that in mind, our first story is about a couple of blokes with a big idea. But you know what the problem with big ideas is? They don't always work. Agent Michael Choi wants to shake up the auction scene. Narini, Michael Choi, how you doing? Real estate photographer Dinesh Rodrigo uh, just having a look at the pictures for Albert Park Way. Needs to sell his dad's home. So they put their heads together and agreed on a plan. You saw those images? A risky plan as it happens, because this three bedroom house in the Melbourne suburb of Roeville is about to become one big gambling chip. The strategy is basically to be Transparent, basically. Yeah. It's the no it's... surprises. Generally, what happens is none of the buyers know what a reserve price is. The agent doesn't even know what the reserve price is. The owner doesn't even know what their reserve price is until the day. What we're doing is we are openly, transparently telling everyone what the reserve price is. That's unheard of in an auction. They're not only advertising the reserve price, they're setting it incredibly low hoping to ignite a bidding war come auction day. Hello? And have a look at this. OK, so here we are. It's a three-bedroom house, renovated in Roeville. Windows throughout, so it just really gives you that open feel about the home. Decent-sized bedroom, en suite. They've also renovated the bathroom very consistently with the master bedroom, so it, it just flows. Good thing I like about this house is the kitchen uh, and how it overlooks to the alfresco area, so it flows really well, especially with all the glass sliding doors. The place is in top condition. Similar properties around here have got well over $400,000. But the boys are baiting the hook with... $350,000. I think risk is a wide term. Um, I mean, people sort of say, look, what happens if it sells for three hundred fifty-one and no one bids? Well, by law, we have to sell it for three hundred fifty-one. There's every chance that this house could sell for less than what anyone could believe the house is worth. There's every every chance. There's also every chance of it selling 100 grand over what we all think it's worth. Yes, the stakes are high. But it's going to be Dinesh who faces the music from his dad if everything goes pear-shaped on auction day. Uh, and it will probably be an expensive exercise for uh, myself, my father and all involved. When uh, Dinesh came up with this strategy of selling the home, uh, first I was a bit very hesitant. A bit? Big. <laughs> and, and it took a while for him to convince me. That uh, I'm not sure if he's still convinced, actually. It, sometimes I am, I am in doubt myself. <laughs> <laughs> Dinesh's dad, Loyla, and his mum, Beneva, bought this house 17 years ago. She was the one who said, go on, darling, buy it. You can, we can do it. We can do it. She's the one who first persuaded me. Sadly, Benever died of cancer last year. Now Dad wants to relocate closer to his son. That is the reason that we want to sell this place and uh, buy something close to his house. Wow. There's a lot riding on this auction for everyone. In Melbourne, Dinesh Rodrigo is taking the biggest gamble of his life. He's advertising his dad's house dirt cheap at 350 grand, hoping buyers will take the bait, then bid up the price. I think the strategy will pay off personally by the amount of people at the auction pushing that price up 
uh, maybe 30 to 40,000 more than what it would have been had we published the reserve higher uh, or not published it at all. Dinesh is convinced, but his father, Loyla, well, he's a bit more old school. Look, I'd, uh, I'd definitely say that the stress is starting to, uh, to get to me and my dad. Uh, you know, he calls me every day. That's now almost becoming twice a day. Hello. Hey, Dad. And he's like, you know, what about this scenario? What about that scenario? And I'm... Yeah, I'm a bit worried about the low reserve. Dad, it's OK. We've got everything covered. I'm still worried. Well, relax. Don't worry. Uh, if, it, uh, if it goes wrong, I'll have to move into state, I think. Anything else I need to know of? Anything at the moment. Any calls? The Rodrigo family aren't the only oh, ones with skin in this game. Agent Michael Choi has his reputation at stake too. No one will know what's going to happen on the day. I will go there shaking. We'll all be a little bit concerned about the day. It's one of those things. We're nervous because it's a big thing. We're selling someone's house. They'll be nervous. I will be nervous. We'll all be nervous. And once the hammer hits the contract, then we'll be all be relieved, I suppose, and we'll know the outcome then. Auction day in Hindmar Street, Roeville, Victoria. Today, a $400,000 plus house is going to the highest bidder, over $350,000. Somebody is going to make a killing. Will it be a buyer or a seller? There's no plan B. It can't fail. This is foolproof. We've completely thought about this whole strategy and it can't fail. It's impossible. Oh, cocky, isn't he? But look at this. Hindmar Street has never been so busy. Unbelievable. I, I, I knew there was going to be a lot of people, but not like this. Uh, this will be the biggest auction we've seen uh, for the year. Without doubt. I think it'll be really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the ad that Michael put on the net attracted nearly 10,000 hits. That's about 10 times the average, all because of that low reserve price. 350, you couldn't believe it. I think it's undercoated on the reserve. I think it'll go for a lot more. We expect it will go up, up maybe. It's, it's out there to see what people will bid for. It depends on how many will be putting their bid. Now, that's the million dollar question. There must be at least five to six hundred people here. Dinesh, who's been joined by his girlfriend, Crystal, has got to hope the punters have brought their wallets. Ready to rock and roll? Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it. OK, cool. I opened up my thesaurus this morning. I wanted to find another word for pretty. Would you believe me if I told you it said Hindmarsh? Good start, Michael. Flatter your audience. So, can I have a level-headed, even-handed start? Who would like to commence the bidding? Where do we go? 350. Three and a half. Where do we go from here? Only bidding out a slender. Wow. Smart move. Straight to the reserve. Which means that as of now, the property is up for grabs. At 350, do I let him have it? Let it go? Do I do I take Silas's permission to sell? At this price. It's the bargain of the century. Once, twice, third time, it's going then, going it is. In Roeville, a massive crowd has gathered for Dinesh's auction. $350,000, he's in front, closest to the door now. At $350,000, where do we go from here? There's only been one bid, and one bid only. 350,000, smack bang on the reserve. Go, do I, do I take silence's permission to sell? Anticipation mounts, hearts are pumping, palms are sweating. What? 60. Now that's a relief. Could it be the start of something? Like a landslide? 70. 70. 80. Not surprised. Nice comeback now at 80, promptly. 380. A 380 and 90. For the beer. Snuck in, got his foot in the 10. door. 410. 410. 420. 420. Where do we go from here? We're now 70,000 over the reserve. Is there any more money out there? Do I let it go? Should gently bid now at $420,000. Sorry? 430. 430. At a slender $430,000, do I take Silence's permission to sell? Do I let it go? 
What's the now? 50? 450. 450? I'm not sure Dinesh can believe this is happening. His roll of the dice is paying off big time. 55. 55 to money. Bet is glad he listened to his son. Watch! Twice! Third! How much? 460. Better late than never, but better never to be late at 460. Watch this. Another bidder. Crikey. At $460,000 to my new best friends. I think I might add you to my Facebook. At $460,000, where do we go? At 400... 465. Just snuck in. 465. You nearly had it. 67. 67. 467. Give him more than ample time at 467. Sorry. 468. 669. 69 now. 469. How much? 471. 71. 471. Another bidder. You beauty. At four hundred and seventy-one thousand dollars, newcomers. At four seven one, best of luck 72. today. Seventy-two. Seventy-two now. Four seven two. Three. Seventy-five. Five. Good work. I like your style. Dad. Four seven five. Five k. Four seven five and three. Go now, son. Let go. It's not bad. Five. It's going okay now. Five. Five. Going okay. It's fair to him going gangbusters. It is. Oh. Another five hundred. $82,500. Three, two, one, it is. 482, 500. I can't hold this position for too long. It is. Well, another thousand. Good work. Four and a half. Done? Mm, I think those guys might have emptied the tank. Just permission to sell it then? Permission to let it go? Yep, yeah. All done, sign finished. I count down. Three, two, one. So, well bought. What do you reckon, huh? Yeah, I think it's a good one. That's crazy. Joyzy. Thank you. Oh, give me a hug. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was so good. What a squeeze, huh? Yeah. No, it's all in the strategy. You know, the house is the house and the price is the price, but it's all in the strategy. So, you know, it does make a big difference how you how you approach it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! It's a formula that's proven. It's just a matter of owners are willing to take that risk. Um, in a way, to look at it, it could be more risky not to do it. Well, they say fortune favours the brave. You think it'll catch on? I wonder how many vendors would have the nerve.